बेंगलोर चेन्नई ये जो एक्सप्रेस हाईवे हम बना रहे हैं एक्सिस कंट्रोल इसमें बेंगलोर के कर्नाटक के तीन पैकेज उसको काम को इंस्पेक्शन करने का मौका मुझे मिला ये टोटल हाईवे करीब अठारह सत्रह हजार करोड़ का है इसमें तीन फेज में है फेज वन इन कर्नाटका फेज टू इन आंध्र प्रदेश एंड फेज तीन इन आंध्र प्रदेश एंड तमिलनाडु इन कर्नाटक का टोटल लेंथ इज सेवेंटी वन किलोमीटर विच इज बींग एग्जीक्यूटेड इन थ्री पैकेजेस एट द कॉस्ट ऑफ फाइव थाउजेंड सिक्सटी नाइन करोर थर्टी टू टू थर्टी सिक्स परसेंट काम पूरा हुआ है इट इज डिजाइन फॉर द स्पीड ऑफ वन ट्वेंटी किलोमीटर पर आवर एंड रिड्यूसेज द डिस्टेंस बिटवीन बेंगलोर एंड चेन्नई प्रेजेंटली इट टेक्स फाइव आवर्स इट विल बी टू आवर्स फिफ्टीन मिनिट्स यू कैन रीच फ्रॉम बेंगलोर टू चेन्नई द फिफ्टीन परसेंट ऑफ द रोड लेंथ प्रेजेंटली इट इज थ्री हंड्रेड किलोमीटर बट बाय दिस एक्सप्रेस हाईवे द लेंथ इज गोइंग टू रिड्यूस बाय थर्टी एट किलोमीटर सो इट विल बी टू सिक्सटी टू किलोमीटर सो इट विल टेक टू आवर्स फिफ्टीन मिनिट्स फ्रॉम चेन्नई टू बेंगलोर एंड वी आर वी आर मेकिंग द स्पीड ऑफ हंड्रेड एंड ट्वेंटी किलोमीटर पर आवर द ट्रेवल टाइम प्रेजेंटली इज फाइव आवर इट कम्स टू टू आवर्स फिफ्टीन मिनिट्स द मोस्ट इंपॉर्टेंट थिंग द चेन्नई एंड बेंगलोर बोथ आर इंपॉर्टेंट सिटी मेट्रो सिटीज ऑफ द कंट्री एंड चेन्नई पोर्ट इज ऑल्सो वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट so by this we will reduce the logistic cost presently as comparing with in the world in the usa the logistic cost is 12% china it is 8 to 10% and european countries it is 12% and india it comes to 16% and that is to be a big problem as far as our export is concerned because our logistic cost is high so by making this road it is going to reduce the logistic cost for the trader businessman and industry in bangalore and chennai it will be reduced by at least 4 to 6% we are trying to make the logistic cost single digit so this is really a very much good impact the already the complete length of 262 kilometers of the corridor has been awarded construction has been initiated for 231 km while the construction on the remaining length of 31 km is targeted to be initiated by march 2023 we are waiting for forest clearance even in some of the land there is some forest problem is there the two important problem where i requested the state government authority and also i am going to request honorable chief minister regarding getting permission for using a land particularly aggregate stone it takes 6 month 1 year also we want to complete this project before march 24 we are trying to make it complete this project by 26 january so my i will going to have already i have a meeting with the chief minister so to get all the permissions is very important the two important things where i suggested our officers one is whatever the 5 hectare 3 hectare land is available between the road line in the loop where we make uh, amrut mahotsav bird garden we will make good landscaping and this bird garden there will be the fruits of this area and that is only reserved for the birds so no human touch will be there and the second important thing is very important that we want to make amrut sarovar our concept is दौड़ने वाले पानी को चलने के लिए लगाओ चलने वाले पानी को रुकने के लिए लगाओ रुके हुए पानी को जमीन को पीने के लिए लगाओ गांव का पानी गांव में खेत का पानी खेत में घर का पानी घर में आई एम वेरी मच इंटरेस्टेड इन वाटर कंजर्वेशन बिकॉज आई एम रिप्रेजेंटिंग फ्रॉम विदर्भा ऑफ महाराष्ट्र वेर वी हैव टेन थाउजेंड फॉर्मर सुसाइड्स बिकॉज ऑफ वाटर प्रॉब्लम सो वी हैव ऑलरेडी मेक थाउजेंड ऑफ लेक and in water conservation lot of ngos are doing excellent job my ngo already they get the world award and i received four delits out of three delits from the universities 
that is for agriculture science so i am very much interested keenly and i suggested the government authority that everywhere we can, we will make deepening of the river uh, lakes where we will increase the water storage capacity by 5 times 6 times 8 times 10 times more and that is going to useful for the farmers and for the drinking water purpose my experience in my area where we make the deepening of the lakes the water in the electrical pump which was taking only 1 hour now it run for 20 hours so irrigation will be increased and by using drip irrigation and this irrigation it is going to increase increase the agricultural production by 2 and 1/2% the land is fertile if the water is available it is to be going to be useful for increasing agriculture growth so one thing we want to make amrut sarovar on all these three road mysore bangalore then uh, this chennai bangalore and bangalore ring road these are the three important flagship projects which we are making and this can be really very important i am going to discuss with uh, honorable chief minister regarding some of the wildlife and forest area today i inspected and also chief minister has also got some reservation about that bill bill can what is the name of that bagargatta so ha uh, so we will verify that in mumbai mumbai delhi highway we have forest underpass not overpass so there was a cartoon i seen in the exhibition in mumbai delhi to bachcha apne maa ko bata raha hai ki dekho upar mein tiger baitha hai so in place of making overpass we will try to find out whether it is possible to make underpass forest upar hoga niche se jayenge second thing somewhere if the thick forest is there we will try to change the alignment we want to protect ecology and environment at the same time whatever the trees which are coming on the road we will try our level best to call the people expert people for transplantation and we will make the transplantation of tree at the side margin of the express highway near the compound wall we will make the compound wall where there will be no access not for animal not for the person because the speed is 120 km per hour and that is the reason that we have to protect otherwise it will be a problem the express highway will come out connect bangalore ring road and we are also making road actually i have got apart to construct mumbai pune express highway that is the first express highway in the country in 95 2000 when i was minister in maharashtra i got apart to construct varli bandra sailing project 55 flyovers and uh, this uh, mumbai pune express highway now mumbai to pune is 1 hour 40 minutes and it comes to ring road of pune which we are making that ring road there is a road start to bangalore so within 4 hours it's from pune to bangalore and within less than 6 hours it is from bangalore to pune ya uh, mumbai so mumbai to bangalore will be 6 hours at the same time we have now the road available from nagpur to mumbai samruddhi mahamarga previously it was taking 24 hours now it is only 6 hours and from aurangabad i am making express highway to aurangabad to pune ring road so that will be within 2 hours so from bangalore you can go up to shirdi by 6 hours so directly it is a good opportunity for good buses i extend a uh, program so i suggesting that sleeper coach buses business class system will be there the company and the good technology then people can use public transport so this highway is going to be giving economic growth to the karnataka tamil nadu and andhra pradesh then we are making mmlp also in bangalore where the government is giving the land and cost of the mmlp is 1800 crore so that is also we are thinking to how we can reduce the logistic cost regarding the packages three packages 10 packages tamil nadu we have four packages 106 km andhra three packages of 85 km and karnataka we have three package of 71 km we are spending 5100 crores in karnataka the cost of the project is 17000 crore and the idea is with the if there is a cooperation from the state government regarding forest environment clearance 
we will try to complete it before 24 january i have given time period up to march but if the all clearances we will get it 100% we will try to maintain that switch the other important thing is in a summary of the project in karnataka from 14 to 22 we we are working two agencies one is ministry of road transport is working with the nhi division with the state government and nhi we have 38 pro, eight project with the ministry 39 project with the nhi that is upcoming project the cost is 1,21,969 crores ongoing projects 107 the length is 3,272 kilometer the cost is coming 45,000 crore completed project 24 the kilometer in length is 2,000 kilometer and 25,000 crore is the cost the total project we are doing in Karnataka 208 projects the kilometer in length is 8,500 kilometer and the cost involved is 2 lakh crores so the land acquisition cost is also very costly and uh, I'm tr we are trying our level best to give a maximum reasonably good cost to the farmers. So Karnataka is one of the important uh, state and Bangalore is very important as per the traffic jam is problem is there. I know that the IT people all are facing crucial problem. So we are making satellite town ring road is being constructed under Bharat Mala Parivajna to decongest our garden city. It is the length of 288 kilometer ring road Bangalore, 243 kilometer in Karnataka and 45 kilometer in Tamil Nadu. The cost of this project is uh, 17,000 crores out of which 288 kilometer, 136 kilometer has been awarded at the cost of 6,000 crores and 53 kilometers has been already completed. This corridor is designed for a speed of 100 km per hour, boosting the speed of freight movement and increasing the traffic handling capacity. Presently, the uh, uh, traffic density, PCUs, expecting 25 to 30,000 PCUs. But I suggested our officer to whatever the flyovers we are making, we will make the provision for double decker. Because after 10 years, it will be difficult for land acquisition. So we will make double decker flyovers and that is to be going to be useful for the future. It will provide safe movement of commercial vehicle and at the same time it is going to reduce the logistic cost, it is going to reduce the fuel, at the same time it is going to reduce the pollution and traffic jam in Bangalore. It will link Bangalore sub-urban areas of Hoskote, Devanhalli, Devan Halli, then Dudla Ballapur, Dudla Ballapur, Ram, Ram Nagra, Kanakpura, Anaykal in Karnataka and it will also link Hosur in Tamil Nadu where the new airport is expecting. It will also provide connectivity to propose multimodal logistic park at Dapsport and propose Pune Bangalore Greenfield Express Highway, there is a connectivity. The bypass will also improve port connectivity to Chennai port and Krishnapatnam port in Andhra Pradesh. It will help the IT industry as it will allow them to spread their campuses, offices across the length and breadth of the city. Now we are making Bangalore Mysore Express Highway. So it will be distance will be within one hour ten minutes, maximum one hour also. So already next month we will try to inaugurate this road by Honorable Prime Minister or President of India, we are requesting them. With their schedule, we will fix up the date. Now I am suggesting to the state government, now this is the time that Bangalore is so congested, so the Karnataka state can plan satellite cities on this highway, particularly they can develop Mysore and the satellite township by which the Bangalore may be decongest. And that is to be very important. So the Karnataka with the state government can plan for that and we will help them. This is going to be useful for uh, resolving the problem of traffic jam. At the same time, we are working on double-decker sky bus in Bangalore, in the sky. 
having the capacity of 200 people. So it is in the sky. We are working on that. Today I am receiving the presentation also. I have a discussion with the Chief Minister also, by which we will try to resolve the traffic problem in Bangalore. We have Bangalore Satellite Town Ring Road. There are six packages. That is Bangalore Satellite Town Ring Road, 245 kilometer. 30 Paligo stage is in Tamil Nadu and total cost is 17,000 crore. The projects are awarded. Only the phase one is Doba set to Ramgara, Ramnagar. Well, there is some apparatus yet to be approved. All under control now. We want to make it as early as possible because I know that how, what type of problem you are facing because of traffic congestion and air pollution. This is a garden city. That I just today requested the Honourable Member of Parliament that you take a challenge. And the most important challenge is how we are going to reduce the air pollution in Bangalore city. As far as the climate change is concerned, it, our first priority is for how we can reduce air pollution, water pollution and sound pollution. The traffic jam is equally a big problem. So encouraging public transport. So today I suggested the chairman of Volvo that you can have a, a business class seats and for long term you have a sleeper coach. Yesterday I got able to inaugurate that. By which if the public transport is comfortable, people will use that and that will be really important because presently in the country we have 30 crores vehicle. It's uh, sometime I have a fear in my mind the day will come that the population, the automobile population will be more than our population. So, so this is a big problem. Somewhere we need to discourage the people for individual car and vehicles. We need to encourage public transport of good quality. And that is exactly my department is doing. The other important highway which is very important for Karnataka, Tamil Nadu, uh, then uh, Kerala and Telangana and Andhra Pradesh. The all traffic from north, from Uttar Pradesh, Rajasthan, Gujarat, Delhi, Uttarakhand, Himachal, Punjab, Haryana, Kashmir is coming to Mumbai and Mumbai to Pune. And after Pune it comes to Kolhapur and Solapur. And the distance is also long. So we are making a big highway of 48,000 crore. We start from Surat, coming to Nasik, and Nasik to Ahmednagar, Ahmednagar to Solapur, Solapur to Karnul, and Karnul to Chennai Economic Corridor. This is a part of Surat Chennai Express Highway. It passes through six states, Gujarat, Maharashtra, Karnataka, Telangana, Andhra Pradesh and Tamil Nadu. The Surat Chennai project is of six lane axis control expressway with total length of 1,270 kilometers. The cost of the project is 48,000 crore. The Solapur Karnul Highway is an access control corridor with a total length of 340 kilometers and total capital cost is 11,000 crore. Till today, 294 kilometer length is awarded at a total cost of 10,000 crores. It passes through the four states of Maharashtra, Karnataka, Telangana and Andhra Pradesh. It is very important for the development of the state. And uh, it passes through developing districts of Kalburgi, Yadgir, Raichur and in North Karnataka. It will boost tourism and pilgrimage in the region of North Karnataka. It will connect important economic centers like Chennai, Karnul, YSR, Kadappa, Kalburgi and Solapur. It will increase economic activity in underdeveloped regions of Karnataka. Work in Karnataka has been divided in four packages with total length of 223 km and cost is rupees 8000 crores. Solapur to Karnul travel time will be reduced from train hours to four hours and new Alignment will reduce distance from 400 km to 340 km. I will put up all this thing on my site where you will get the detail of Solapur Karnul project in Karnataka. It is of 337 km and costing 11,000 crore. The other important highway which I will explain to people when I will meet in Mysore. That is of Bangalore Mysore Highway. So, from our side, we are making lot of good highways, green highways for Karnataka. And in future, 
we are using the good futuristic technology we want to use west material now the west tire the rubber powder we are using in road construction in between roads road then uh, today we have i am going to discuss this subject that the solid west management the segregate west of bangalore city whether it can be possible to use that west in bangalore ring road by which it can resolve the problem of ecology and environment as a transport minister we are working on ethanol methanol biodiesel bio lng bio cng electric and green hydrogen the green hydrogen mission is there i have got the car given from toyota the name of the car is mirai the world mirai is japani it means in hindi bhavishya future and it is on green hydrogen the bangalore has got lot of startup doing excellent job for e vehicles and for green hydrogen so we can make the green hydrogen from organic waste we can make green hydrogen from biomass we can you make green hydrogen from waste water and our kisan we call them as anna data my dream is to make kisan urja data by making green hydrogen by using biomass waste material they can make it we have got the technology from rice straw we can make bio bitumen 70% bio bitumen and 30% bio char we are also going to start that because in punjab haryana because of burning of parli the pollution in delhi we are facing the problem so there are lot of new things regarding the ecology and environment we are trying and we are using alternative fuel by which it will be import substitute cost effective pollution free and indigenous and our present import of fossil fuel is a uh, uh, 17 lakh crore and karnataka is a center for bioethanol and now we are launching scooter auto rickshaw cars on 100% bioethanol toyota has got model like camry in place of petrol 100% the ethanol will be used rate of petrol is 120 rupees and ethanol is 60 rupees and this flex engine is going to reduce the cost of fuel your average will be cost comparing 25 rupees per liter petrol that is to be coming as far as because the 40% of the electricity that this flex engine car is going to generate so these are the new initiative we have taken anything take thank you up you can ask me the question एनएच को सर एनएच सेवेंटी फाइव को सिक्स लेन करने का डीपीआर अब तैयार हुआ है जल्दी उसका काम शुरू करें हाँ यस मैडम अब माइक ले लो हेलो सर व्हाट आर द टेक्नोलॉजिकल फीचर्स आर देनी न्यू टेक्नोलॉजिकल फीचर्स ऑफ द रोड दैट मेक इट स्टैंड अपार्ट फ्रॉम ऑल द अदर हाईवे दैट वी हैव हैड सो फार this particular highway that is one question and another thing i want to know is uh, how many toll plazas are you planning and have you figured out the charge for the toll of this we have expressway? don't have any planning for toll plaza we are now in a position to launch satellite based number plate technology already fast track is there in the front side on the glass and number plate taking the picture of that there will be entry point for the road and there will be access point that will be registered by the camera and we will subtract that much amount from his account so there will be no need for toll plaza we are making helipads road side amenities and giving good facility but charging toll is not a charging something for the people because we are going to reduce the distance between the two city presently bangalore to chennai it is 5 hours by making 2 hours 15 minutes they are going to reduce the fuel cost now i am giving you the guarantee at the march 24 there will be no flight between bangalore and chennai pile flight will be closed we are making in delhi delhi to dehradun presently take 9 hours it will be 2 hours delhi to haridwar 2 hours delhi to De jaipur 2 hours delhi to chandigarh 2 and 1/2 hours delhi to katra 6 hours amritsar 4 hours so delhi to mumbai 12 hours so that is going to reduce the time at the same time fuel cost and we are taking all this money from the people now in our invit model i am giving a really a good information to all of you where you can take it this information to the common people that we want to make the road of taking money from the poor people 
the service people, service class people, the journalist, the constable, the, all the small people can invest in NHI. We have just in invit, we have launched our bond and uh, the time period was 10 days. But within first day, seven hours, our, our bond, invit bond was oversubscribed seven times more. And we get the money and we are giving 8% return. And even we are making the provision that they will get the interest every month. So you can invest in the bank, you will get 5%, 5.5%. But in Invit, if you are going to invest with the guarantee of NHI, you will get 8% return. And that is monthly you will get the interest. So we want to make this road by the taking investment from the poor people, farmers, laborers, the people, salary people, and giving them 8% return to make the highway. So that is where somewhere we have to charge the toll. Ah, yes. Uh, sir, you spoke about reducing traffic congestion in Bangalore. There is a flyover in Pindia which has been shut for uh, heavy vehicles for the last one year. So what is the status? When is it going to be open for heavy vehicles? Actually, I remember this is a long-term pending problem is there. Now we receive the bid. It is delayed. I accept that. But we will start the work as early as possible for that flyover. And after that, the problem will be solved. Sir, one more question about uh, water logging on B Bangalore Mysore Highway. We saw during the recent floods. It is because of heaviness. No? No, this uh, year, actually, the unfortunately, the rains, really it was a big problem. The whole year we are facing the problem. But still now, in this highway also, I am giving instruction about for that drainage system. We need a precast technology with good quality and we have to maintain the gradient. Mm. Sometime the gradient is not perfect. That is the reason that water logging is there. About the, uh, this highway, Mysore, Bangalore, we will check the thing. And if the problems are there, we will rectify. Thanks. Oh, sir. Hello, sir. Sir, here. Yes. So what is your say on the two wheeler taxi, sir? Because the uh, two wheeler taxi issue has been raised in Karnataka and the auto drivers as well as the cab drivers don't want this to come into existence. What is your take on that? So it's the subject related with the state government because the transport it is in a concurrent list. Concurrent list means the central government is there and state government is there. So regarding taking decision of this problem, it is the right of the state government, they will take the decision. Sir, sir, sir there are many um, highway projects which are still pending, which have not been uh, completed yet. Particularly this NH 63 from Hospet to Andhra, 2019 was the deadline, it has not been completed yet. Sir, I don't know the details of every project, but I will tell you, you two things. Like that. The problem is, we are not getting forest and environment clearance. Problem is, land acquisition is a problem. Problem is, in Karnataka, we have not getting permission for store, for aggregate. Even if one year we time is taken, the contractor is complaining me how we are going to complete that. There are some problem on the lower level. So I requested the authority to give the permission as early as possible. And today, I am also discussing all this issue with the Chief Minister. We will find out the way out. Without getting the land, how we are going to start the work? That is a problem. Still in this, uh, uh, also there are some problem related with the forest clearance and land acquisition. But Karnataka government is giving cooperation. And by discussing the issue, we will resolve the issue. And after resolving the issue, we will make the uh, increase the speed of the road and we will make it as early as possible. Sir, sir uh, Suresh, uh, I am Suresh from BTV News, Bangalore. Sir, yesterday Karnataka XCM HD Kumar Swami alleged, uh, so that the subject is uh, uh, in this land acquisition, so crores together illegal activities in this uh, project. And sir, actually now as a minister, it is an experience, it is really a good experience because when after the death of Gopinathji Munde, I was temporary charged for Rural Development Department and I introduced this land acquisition bill in the parliament. So today we are offering the land, now people are coming to me that please take our land for road construction. Because we are paying reasonably very very good cost for the former. 
there are some problems but uh, already lot of problems we resolve and the land acquisition is a right of the state government the collector the kala who are the in charge and where we need the cooperation from the collectors on the district level after that the appealing authority is also there now we are in seriously searching the solution that how we can resolve this problem with transparency with corruption free system time bound approach and giving good relief to the people but there are some delays are there some problems are there i receive lot of complaints about corruption and other thing we are very clear about transparency time bound approach corruption free system and quality we will not compromise with the quality these are the most important thing from last 7 to 8 years i got opportunity to award works more than 50 lakh crore in different departments there is not a single allegation related with the corruption because we are transparent no contractor need to come to me for any clearance and we are always taking the review resolving the problem but somewhere somewhere the problem related with the state government now in this project there is one mandir is there religious mandir so we have just resolved the issue we have to resolve the problem actually mp and other people also cooperating for that so we will resolve the issue and i feel that with the cooperation of all the stakeholders we will succeed and we will resolve the issue and we will complete the project sir last press conference also you talked about the sky bus and you gave us the details uh, when you came to bangalore on your last visit so is the feasibility study ready uh, sir, and the, what, madam, what is first the timeline of all, i will tell you very clearly this is not a very easy project this is a complicated project the first time we are taking the technology from the world and the problem is that we want to make the study we have already making the study of it today i have got the presentation of it we have to select appropriate technology there are in philippines the double decker bus in the sky i feel that that is to be the appropriate technology from doppelmayr the company is from austria but we will take the presentation and giving it to chief minister and the state government authority and after that pre feasibility report then we will go for that project it is in the process but it will take some time because it is a complicated project and first time we are doing this type of project in india so will you collaborate with these international agencies uh, when you take we need to collaborate because the technology is not available in india but our approach is we are now presently working on 280 proposals of rope way cable car and karnataka we have 15 proposal and we want to make make in india and made in india our dream is to make 100% manufacturing in india and that is the reason the joint venture partnership between indian company and a technology company from abroad on the basis of that we want to reduce the cost without compromise with the quality and we want to make the best quality of rope way cable car funicular railway and also cross sky bus we are on the on the we are on the process now we will make it as early as possible because i know that what type of problem and difficulties you are facing in bangalore because a lot of it people when meet me they are telling really it's a big problem sir good afternoon sir uh, thank you sir, hello thank you very much sir, namaskar dhanyawad last question sir